Good uh, afternoon, everyone. The National Caucus met this morning to discuss a press release issued last night about an allegation of an historic comment made by the Honourable Simon Bridges towards the Honourable Jackie Dean. The caucus was concerned with the content of the press release and the process by which it was issued. The caucus moved a motion for a vote of no confidence in the leader and that motion was successful. As a result, the Honourable Judith Collins is no longer the leader of the National Party and according to party convention, I have assumed the role of interim leader until the caucus meets again on Tuesday to choose a new leader. On behalf of the caucus, I'd like to thank the Honourable Judith Collins for her valuable service to the party. I'm happy to take questions. Uh, there is always a sadness uh, when there's something like this, but you know, we get up and lift our eyes to the horizon and, and get on with our work. I'm, sorry? Uh, I'm not about to discuss that. That will be for caucus to discuss next Tuesday. Are you going to have a crash as well? My job at the moment is to shepherd and guide the caucus through to their leadership decision on Tuesday. What about you, yourself? I haven't contemplated that because it's more important I shepherd the caucus through to this really important process. Well, how do you explain why Judith Collins is no longer the leader? Why has it taken place? I'm not going to speak about the allegation. The Honourable Jackie Dean and Simon Collins will be making statements shortly around that but there was concern around the process of the issuing of the press release last night uh, that was a concern for caucus, which is why we're standing here in front of you today. What was the reaction? Did the National Party express concern last night as Judith Collins putting out that press release? I don't discuss conversations I have with colleagues. There was a range of views last what night. What was the general reaction? Was it, was it one of shock? Do you think? I, I can't discuss what happens well, in caucus. You, no, I'm not saying uh, what, what happened in caucus. I'm saying your colleagues, how did they react last night? Were they shocked by what they saw? I don't discuss conversations I have with colleagues either, Barry, actually. Yes. Sorry, I will take over here, Henry. Please, could you please spell out how the next party will be improved and whether they actually work with the party and 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 the party Look, I'm not going to reveal discussions with the nation, in detail uh, with the National Party Board, but the National Party Board were engaged several times yesterday. Those discussions uh, are with the National Party Board to discuss. Can you, just, can you talk about how damaging this is to the party, even in the middle of a pandemic, and how it will affect the party? We're really looking for our new leadership team uh, on Tuesday. Uh, to bring us back to focus on the exact things that you're mentioning, the things that matter to New Zealand. We are in the middle of a pandemic. We want to be bringing new thinking to the room, new thoughts, and that's going to be our focus under our new leadership team on Tuesday. What's your message going to be to these teams as they consider who is going to lead the party on Tuesday? Because the uh, my advice to them uh, would be that uh, this is a, a business for the party, it is a business uh, for MPs, and we should be judicious and diligent uh, in how we make those sort of decisions. Well, you know, so, what do you mean about a relatively, um, I suppose, clean fight? Do you want candidates to be um, proactive, I suppose, positive and constructive in this contest? The, uh, the process of selection is a decision that was made by caucus and I won't reveal it here, but of course I would expect the best face and the best candidates and the best talent to come forward and to show that talent in this contest. What involvement did you have in the discussions with Simon Bridges and Alex Collins about the issue yesterday? Did you have any involvement in the discussions yesterday? I'm not going to discuss conversations that I have with other colleagues, but I have been engaged in the process as the deputy leader. Dr. Uh, Judith had an allegation that she needed to attend to. It was a serious allegation. And uh, so she took advice and made the best decision she could last night. Uh, that was fine. Why did it take five years for this to bring up? What do you know about the last night when you said that you Oh, I'm not going to discuss those sort of things, those conversations that I have uh, with colleagues. I'm not going to discuss that. It was a challenge. You'll understand the nature of the allegation. It was a challenging time, and the best decision on the facts, as were understood last night, was made last night. 
Uh, Jackie Dean is going to make a statement shortly. I'll let her reveal her engagement and what her position is. So, in your view, it was a serious allegation. It was a serious allegation. Dr. Wilson, as a doctor, mm. how frustrating is it for you that you're having to come and talk about this when you know that there are people who are not This will be a piece of work that the new leadership. Uh, will work towards uh, to make sure that, as was commented over here, that, that we focus our minds and our attention and our talent on the things that matter to New Zealanders. But yes, this is not uh, our best day, but as I said, we will raise our eyes to the sky and get on with the work did that Simon, we're tasked to do. Did Simon mm. I don't comment on what happened in caucus. Is this the end of the matter as far as Jackie Dean and Simon Bridges and Judy Collins are concerned, or is this is going to continue to be prosecuted one way or another. So uh, Simon and Jackie will make statements uh, to that effect uh, shortly, but uh, an allegation was raised and uh, we took it very seriously. Why is that? the last couple of questions, please. Why are you raising this leadership challenge up? Why not do it now? Why are you raising it up to next week? Mm. Thoughtful decision making is always good, and uh, there was a collective will uh, for next Tuesday to be the best time for all of us. We need to take great care to make the best decision that we can. Oh, I won't discuss that. Uh, it was discussed in caucus, but that's for caucus so to, to understand. Uh, that's for caucus to understand. What I am telling you is that uh, on Tuesday uh, we will have a leadership discussion, and uh, by the end of that day, I'm expecting we'll have a new leadership team. As, as, leader, as, leader, as, leader, as leader of the National Party, what's your message to voters about the future of the party? My message to voters is that you can have confidence in us that we have a track record that we have talent in this caucus and that we will have a refreshed leadership team on Tuesday. And that is my message to voters. Last question, yes. Dr. Wilson, you've been involved in the Parliament for quite a while. Um, what is your view on the future of the Parliament? Judith Collins is a valuable member of the caucus team. Uh, she will be part of our caucus. Uh, Todd Miller's position is as it has always been. That will be for the new leadership to decide if there's any changes to that. Okay, thank you. I don't discuss conversations I have with colleagues. Thank you very much.